Hello everyone, this is Khyati Mehta and I am back with the last and the third video for Omni Channel Routing. Today we will discuss how to configure skill based routing via flow. So we all love flows. Let's start with the first steps. Go to setup. And of course you need to enable Omni Channel and skill based routing. So just type in Omni, you will find Omni Channel settings under Omni Channel. Just click on the first checkbox that is available and then click on the second one and click on save. That's it. You are done with the first step. The second step is to create service channel. So let's find service channel under Omni channel. And I've already created one, but just click on new and give the name. The developer name will be auto-populated. And for the object, I have chosen case and click on save. So that's it. Service channel is basically a way to communicate with the support system. The third step is to create routing configuration. So this means that we are basically saying to Salesforce that, hey Salesforce, I am here. Any case that is routed into the Salesforce should be routed to me. So again, click on new. I have one already created. Just given the uh, unique name, the routing criteria I have given one. The routing priority runs from one to 10, one being the most important. The routing model I have given most available and in units of capacity I have given one. That means each case will be treated as one unit. Now that we are done with our third step, the fourth step is to create skills. So I have created four skills. Just click on new, type in whatever skill you want and click on save. So that's it. In that way, I have created four. English, German, OS installation, and product warranty. Before moving to create service resources, I have also created a user. User named Alan Brown. So over here, I have given Alan Brown system administrator as the profile so that it is very easy for me to assign in the further steps. So next step is to create service resources. Click on the app launcher, type in service resources. And over here, again, I have created two. All you need to do is click on new button, type in the name, search for the people, maybe Alan Brown. Don't forget to type, to choose agent as a resource type. Click on active. Make sure you click on active and you choose agent as a resource type and click on save. That's it. Same way I have created two of the service resources. That means I have two agents. One is Kathy Mehta and one is Alan Brown. So let's see what Kathy Mehta has assigned with. So in the related tab, you can see the skills that I am assigned with are OS installation and English. So same way for Alan, it must be product warranty and, and German. So that way I have given out the skills so that when we route the cases, the case with OS installation and English should be routed to Kathy Mehta. And cases with German and product warranty should be routed out to Alan Brown. So I have created my skills. I have assigned it to the service resources. The next step is to create present statuses. So just type in present statuses and Romney channel, you'll find it on. Just click on new and type in your name. So if you make it available, that means you have to choose the status online as online. If you choose it as busy, then available will also be treated as busy. So make sure that you choose wisely. So I have made available and busy as present statuses. And now I have to assign it to my profile. So why have I shown you that I have created a user named as Alan Brown and I have given him the profile as system administrator. So this is where it comes to place. And it makes easy for me to assign the present statuses only to one profile rather than, you know, giving out to different profiles. So over here, my agents, both Kathy Mehta and Alan Brown are system administrator. So I'll just go, go on to profile, uh, find out system administrator and then find out enable service present status as access and click on edit. 
all the uh, present statuses that are available should be transferred here and click on save. So that's all you need to do. We are pretty much done with our all the steps. Now let's create our flow. Click on flows and I have already created a flow named as skill based. So I'll guide you through step by step on what and how this flow does. So we have an action and when we uh, see this action, there's an automated action as skill based routing. So this is something that uh, Salesforce provides us. So we have certain inputs over here that we need to put that is record ID, routing configuration ID. So this needs to be hard coded. Label an API name or something that we can put, but these are the input values. So before putting this action, we need to follow some steps. First, we try to find the skill IDs we require for the case. So first we'll get all the, uh, you know, records, all the skill records. So this is where it is. Just, uh, just drag and drop the get records over here. And in the object section, I have obviously given skill because I need all the skill IDs. And in the condition, I have given get all skill records. I don't want any condition. I just want all the skill records. And it says how many records to store. So I want all the records to be stored. And how to store this record data? Automatically store all fields. So there are field variables, which I'll show you in the further steps. So this is how you need to select and click on done. So now we need to find the matching skills based on the case subject. So to do this, we need to run loop through all the skills and then match it up with the subject. So uh, this uh, drag and drop loop again in the label, I've given loop, all, loop through all skills and in the collection variable, this is something that is automated. So you just need to uh, select this get all skill records and that's it. Click on done. So we have looped through all the skill IDs, then we create a variable to have case subject. To create a variable, just click on manager, click on new resource. You have to select the resource type and fill up all the data. So in this way, I have already created one for case subject in which I have given the name as case subject and the data type as type. So when a record is inserted, that means when the process builder that will create in the further steps sends it, we'll use this case subject to match it up with the skills ID. So we'll have a condition to see whether the case subject has any of the skills or not. So where this is where decision comes in place. So uh, just drag and drop decision. I'm just checking whether the subject contains the name of the current skills. So I've given the label as yes. And I am checking that case subject is equal to the master label. And click on done. So if it is, then I'll assign these math skills to um, to my concatenated uh, string. So uh, let's understand step by step. So what I've done is I have created a formula for con concatenated strings because this particular action will not take lists, but it will take strings. But we have all the skill IDs separated with commas. So we'll add all the skills to a simple string and we'll separate it with commas. So this is why I have created this uh, concatenated string, wherein I have just uh, selected all the skills in a separated comma with the their IDs. So all, all the skills in a separated comma is again a variable. So this is where it is. So I have just created a text variable and I have just put it, uh, you know, I have just concatenated it with the IDs. So that's it. So once we are assigning it, the last step is to create an action. But before that, I have just connected the flow. So what happens is we are getting all the records and then we are looping it through and then we are checking. If it matches, then it will assign it. If it, it. if it does not match, then it will again ask to loop it all. And if it matches all, then again, it will go through the loop. And so uh, when uh, the last step appears, then it goes to the action. So what does action do? 
action does nothing but just takes the id from the process builder over here and for the routing configuration id uh, you need to hard code it but i have an easy way for you all you need to do is just create a variable as routing config id give the data type as text and in the default value give the routing configuration id so for that what you need to do is go to setup find out your routing configuration so uh, this is my routing configuration so you see this id over here just copy paste it very carefully just copy it from here and paste it over here that's it so this is how i am putting all my routing configurations over here and i'm just looping it all through the skills so that's it click on save and activate this flow so once this flow is activated you need to go to your process builder and call this flow process builder I have already created a process builder, so let's see what it does. Of course, the object will be case, and I only when, want when a record is created. Next, in the criteria, I'll check whether the subject is null or not. If it is, if it is not, sorry, then uh, I'll call my flow over here. So I'll just uh, type in my flow's name, so it will appear, and you just have to select it. And then I have to give some inputs to my flow, right? So I'll just, uh, in, in the set flow variables, all those variables will only be, uh, you know, shown which are given or which are provided to be inputted by the flow. So I have case subject, I'll just field reference it to the original subject and save for the ID. And that's it. Click on save and activate this process builder. So now, Let's just give a case uh, with the skills for Kathy Mehta and let's just check whether it's it, it is working or not. So just go on to service console. Click on new. Okay, before that, make your uh, channel, uh, make your uh, agent available. I am just giving out the required fields and for Kathy Mehta as it was OS installation and English. So let's just give something related to it. And this case should be routed to Kathy Mehta. See. So this is how skill-based routing via flow works. Hope it was helpful for you all. Thank you.